Over six years and a half of lifting, some habits were created and are responsible for building my dream physique. In this video, you will know everything about it. Don't forget that repeating actions over a long period of time is what will yield results. That's why habits are the key components of success. Hello guys, I just woke up this morning. Right now I'm going to drink a cup of coffee and have my breakfast. And uh, drinking my coffee is the best moment of the day like uh, even more than hitting my legs so yeah best moment of the day dedicace Eli. you know what i mean so let's get it but before the coffee the morning wane <laughs> oh you're here sorry the first habit is about nutrition you have to know what you're putting in your body in terms of macronutrients but also calories. You have to eat accordingly to your personal goals. So if you want to bulk, you need to be in a calorie surplus. If you want to cut body fat, you need to be in a calorie deficit. So tracking your food is the first step for achieving your goals. I highly recommend. Right now I'm counting my calories. I need to be very precise because I'm cutting body fat and I want to be very ready for my first competition in September. Sometimes when you need to be precise, it's okay just like to, to track your calories a bit more, be more strict with yourself. But sometimes, you know, being flexible is very important. When I am in a calorie surplus, uh, I'm not tracking my food every day and I know what I'm putting in my body in terms of uh, calories because uh, I've been tracking my calories for five years. I developed some skills regarding to tracking and food quantity. So now my breakfast is done. I'm just going to show you how it looks like. Uh, it looks uh, amazing. Right now I'm heading to the gym. I'm going to eat a leg session with a focus on posterior chain. So arm string and glutes first. So I'm hitting this uh, first in the session. Currently I'm training five days a week. For me it's a perfect combination because I have two rest days where I can uh, do my stuffs and it's the perfect balance between my training and my professional and personal life. The second habit that got me my dream physique is going to the gym every week for the past six years. This one may be a little bit obvious but uh, it's important to remind it. So be conservative and don't hesitate to go to the gym less than what you think so even if it's three times a week it's better than nothing and don't forget that the most important thing is create this habit of going to the gym every week and once you feel comfortable to do more training sessions you created this habit of going to the gym every week so it will be easier to just train more so keep this in mind very important create this habit of going to the gym consistently and you're good to go thank you guys see you next time <laughs> My bus, my bus is here! Something you need to consider when training is proximity to failure. So research uh, has shown that uh, you have to train close to failure. So we're talking less than four reps uh, in reserve. But what people do wrong is uh, still training close to failure with a good technique. You need to put uh, all the tension in the desired musculature when reaching uh, the failure point. So it's pretty important that you do this. And that's what uh, I'm going to do right now. And it's uh, very hard.
So one of the last tips is to make sure you're progressing and you should be using a logbook to track your progress. So it's a great tool. I've been using a logbook for the past like five years or so and it worked amazing. So technically you need to see a progress over the months, especially if you're an advanced athlete. It's not going to happen on a weekly basis and a logbook is a great tool to see if progress is happening. If not, maybe it's time to adjust your training volume, exercise selection or frequency or to adjust your lifestyle like your sleep or maybe your nutrition, the calories you're consuming, etc. So you should be using a logbook. Hello guys, training session was very good. It was exhausting but uh, I did my best and uh, we did a lot of filming so it was kind of complicated to switch between filming and then training so it was really really hard and you can see that I've been working very hard my left abs so you can see that uh, it's quite big right now but I have some kind of asymmetry so it's not very good now just kidding just a bag lol uh, after the session we were on a rush to eat as soon as possible because we were exhausted and hungry and uh, I needed to eat uh, kind of quickly like I said because my last meal was at 10.30 I think. I'm just going to show you a picture of what I ate. Right now I'm going to buy some foods for tomorrow evening because I'm going to cook uh, with my girlfriend, my secret girlfriend. I'm going to show you when we reach a thousand subscribers so right now I'm just yeah I'm just hiding this uh, from you but you know that that's the deal okay This is currently two days later and I'm going to give you the last habit that you should have in order to have your dream physique and it's simple it's planification you should plan in advance when you're going to train, what you're going to eat, especially when you have lots of things in your life, like uh, maybe classes, your student or your job, you have kids and planification is the key driver for success. So I highly recommend that you take a sheet of paper and you make that planification a real thing in your life. I'm going to end the video here. I hope that you enjoyed it and see you in Lisbon, Portugal.